And what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another beer review. We've got a triple threat today. That's right. Three beers, three guys. <laughs> Here it is. Check out this delicious little box. Samuel Smith, traditional British pub in a box. What? Damn. This comes with a little child, not a child. It comes with a glass. glass. This is out of the UK, imported straight from the UK, from Yorkshire. There's really nothing like a great British pub. Exactly. And this, the beer in this is from recipes from as far back as 17... 58. Wow. So this is some good old style beer in here and it has uh, <clears throat> nut brown ale, a, uh, I'm reading this, supposed to be an oatmeal stout and then a taddy porter. So yeah, here we go guys. Got some beers. The traditional British pub box or pub in a box. Wow. Ah, so we're about to review this. Make sure you subscribe, leave a <laughs> thumbs up on the video, and let us know if you've tried it. And we'll let you know what the beer's like. So let's roll, roll it. it. Yes. Pint glass. A pint? A pint of bees? All right, here we go with Samuel Smith's British Pub in a Box. Which we're gonna try first. I think we'll try what Tim has over here. Yeah, so if we're gonna go with me first, we're gonna go with the Taddy Porter. A very dark, full bodied ale with a rich, creamy head and an intense, dry, tangy character. Brewed with well water, the original well sunk in 1758 is still in use. Wow. Malted old water. Bar yeah, old water. <laughs> Malted barley, roasted malt, yeast, and hops fermented in stone Yorkshire squares. The type of beer first brewed in the early 18th century gained its name from being drunk by porters in the fish, meat, and other produce markets. Wow. So that's where porters came from. So here is what the bottles look like. It's got this cool gold wrap around the top. And yeah, so all right, here we go. This one, what's the percentage on this mother trucker here? I don't know if it says. Or maybe I just didn't read it. I think it might just stay on the box. Well, while he looks at that, I'm going to open this sucker up. There we go. Ooh, it's got a nice rich smell to it. It's a porter. We just did that last porter, so this is going to taste very, very similar to now that this, one. Uh, ooh, it's bubbly. Well, so each one is 18.7 ounces. It does not say what percentage. Look at that color. Mm. So I guess we will find out. Oh, show them your glass, Tim. Oh yeah, here's my. Uh, this is the glass that comes in the Samuel box. Samuel Smith glass came with the beers. Yeah, so you get three beers and so a pouring glass. You get a point glass with your points. Oh yes, mate. Uh, what the fuck that was. Yeah, I, uh, I think we're kind of weird. Yeah, the people know this by now. We're the weird reviewers, but we're also number one, so. Okay. So this is gonna be kind of a long review, guys. So I got some head stick on with that us. one. Look at that big head, dude. Oh my goodness. There's more in here. Who wants it, Ben? Oh, no, I'm good. I'll take it. Ben? <laughs> ben? Yeah, Ben's gonna take some. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, here we go with the Taddy Porter. Nice, rich smell. Nice malted, dark malts. Maybe hint of caramel? Not sure. Not quite sure, but look at that. Look at that. It dark. is dark. All right, y'all. Bottoms up. Oh, here we go. I have a piece of foil in my beer. It's gold. It's good for you. Yes. Especially tearing <laughs> out my intestines while trying to use the bathroom. Here, here we go. <laughs> With Taddy Porter from Samuel Smith. Super, super smooth, but very, very rich flavor. It does have wow, a very, very light rich and flavor. Smooth. Mm -hmm. It's kind of tangy. Yeah. Yeah. A little tangy. Yeah, did, is, did it say, it said something about tangy on there, didn't it? Might have. 
But yeah, it's got a it's rip. It's very smooth. Oh, yeah. A creamy head with a, a dry, intense, dry, tangy character. <laughs> I called it. I didn't even. I don't remember hearing that. But yeah, it's got a real tangy little mm -hmm. taste yeah. around the top. That's a tangy aftertaste. Yeah, this is, uh, it's also brewed in the oldest brewery in Yorkshire. So there's that. It just tastes like history. I mean, know. You, you get a real flavor of it, like what beards taste like from. It definitely like it, it, it's like all right. This is how we think beer is. Yeah. And, but yeah. this is how it was made in was 1758. That's what I like about these porters and stouts because they're very old recipes, and you and the, the flavor. I, I I believe the flavor kind of still comes back from back then, and you still get that same type of a flavor wow. that they had. It's For really being good. as dark yeah. as it is, it's so smooth. It's so like smooth. yeah, so I don't get like the extreme carbonation or like. No, you don't. I thought I thought it's, the darker it is, the heavier it would be. But it's yeah, this one's pretty light. It's light for being yeah. as dark as it is, yeah. and it's. It's, very it's light. literally almost like drinking water. Yeah, it's yeah. like it's it's that yeah, that right? light as you're drinking it. It's just oh, okay, I drank that, but it's not like you know most beers oh. when you're like I can only drink so much. Yeah, it's like oh no, I could just keep drinking this, no problem. Yeah, I could more of that. So that's the first one down. Well, Ben, we offered you <laughs> the taddy <Why> porter. <laughs> But uh, it's not as thick as like normal porters. Like the no. last porter we did, the chocolate one, that was thick. This one's pretty, um, pretty thin. Yeah. Like he doesn't. It, taste. Well, it's it's like a light beer. Yeah. Without it's, the like the bite of carbonation. But it's got all that flavor. Mm -hmm. It still has that heavy flavor that like the uh, thicker porter would have. Yeah. <clears throat> all right. The next one we got here is this, the nut brown ale. All right. Pause real quick. I'm gonna go rinse all this. Out. How about you guys go rinse that? I'll read the back of this while you guys right. rinse your glasses out. I'm gonna put this off to the side. We're gonna rinse the glasses real quick, guys. And meanwhile, this has so much head in it. So. <laughs> uh, this says brewed at Samuel Smith's small traditional British brewery with well water, so it still says all the same stuff. British hops nut brown ale is relatively dry with a rich reddish brown color an inviting nutty flavor derived exclusively from a generous amount of roasted barley. Samuel Smith has the richest, maltiest, and nuttiest of the brown ales. Okay. Michael Jackson. So Michael Jackson has had this beer. So Michael Jackson was nutty? Did you say Michael Jackson had that beer? Yep. His quote is on the back of the bottle. So well, that's pretty exciting. But Michael Jackson was a bit nutty. Did this put on the back of the bottle? <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> uh, yeah, it says, yeah, he said Samuel Smith has the richest, maltiest, and nuttiest of the brown ales by Michael Jackson. See? Well, we all know Michael Jackson likes nuts. Well, this one does say the percent. It is 5%. Nobody caught that? Okay. Yes. Nope. All right. <laughs> yes, we caught that. All right, here you go. Once again, you get the gold wrap around the top of it. A real nice uh, kind of a label on the front. Here we go. The nut. I know, these are almost like bottles you can just keep and have as mm. like... That smells kind of sweet and it's a little Ooh. poofing. Brrr. Tim, you pour yourself some. A little bit of Ooh, bubbling. Look at that. Look at that head just... It is pouring out of there. Bursting at the top. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say more back. Probably. Look at that color! Oh my god! This is like a, a <clears throat> lot lighter than. Uh, Careful, Tim. That's five percent. <laughs> it's five percent. <laughs> it definitely has a way yeah, different yeah, okay. taste than uh, than that porter did. Look at that nice reddish color, just like it said. There you go. And it's kind of uh, kind of clear almost. You yeah, it's see very clear. Through it. mm -hmm. see through A that. little bit. Yeah. Reddish, clearish. It smells like an ale. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. An oldie time ale. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not really catching any like nuttiness yet. But all right, we'll see what it tastes like. Here we go with the nut brown ale from Samuel Smith. Yeah, I bet that nutty flavor will be more in the taste.
little bit. Hmm. More just tastes like a, a log, like a lager, like mm. an ale. Again, super, super it smooth. It is so smooth. So smooth again. <laughs> yeah. So guys, these are very smooth, very easy to drink. Yeah, good, um, good flavor too. The too. flavor is just outstanding. Very, um... Have, a, have a taste. Would you say the flavor is very light or very heavy? Oh, it's light as heck. Yeah, this light. is light and it's... Yeah, it's easy to drink, but you still get a ton of flavor in it. Like, there's a lot of flavor there. The, but it's easy to drink. Like the, it's not uh, how, how bubbly much would like you a say, lot of beer uh, is. It says it's very nutty. Do you taste the nut? And, and, <laughs> in the flavor of the beer? The nutty taste to it? Did you get the nut flavor in your <laughs> you mouth? The nut. <laughs> did you get nutted in your mouth? <laughs> Anyways. Okay. It's the taste. All right, everybody's serious. Taste. Does it taste like a nut ale? Yeah, it's nut ale. Ah. Does not it really? I mean, it tastes like you got nutted in your mouth. A little bit of nut. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's the foam. <laughs> Serious faces, everybody. This is not a joking matter when we're talking about nuts and mouth. Does this taste like a nut ale? <laughs> I wouldn't say so. No. Maybe well, aftertaste. Just aftertaste. Well, what, that's it. what kind of? What kind of nut? <laughs> what kind of nut are we talking about here? Well, what did it say on the box? It doesn't. It just says a nutty ale. Okay. Well, well, that one was brown nut, wasn't it? Or nut brown? Oh, it's a nutty brown. Nutty brown. Brownie okay. nut. Okay. Brownie nut. So it could be like. It's a, the color, brownish color. Yeah. I don't know what kind of nuts they use, but it tastes, it's working for me. Whatever it is, it's very nutty. It's very good. nutty. Ah. All right, so there it is with the nut brown ale. Very delicious. Super smooth. Five percent. Yeah, definitely one to wow. drink. You, 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 and remember this, I don't know how long or where you can get this, if this pack is uh, a staple or if this is just coming out for the Christmas season. But um, as far one, as I know, it's a Christmas, like Christmas oh. seasonal type of a deal. We got, got more in the box. What's in the box? A coasters? Oh, what if we got coasters? What? Okay, Tim got coasters. This is Tim's <laughs> box, by the way, guys. Thanks, Tim, for supporting this video. Beer brewed with the old brewery tad coaster. Really cool design on the box too. You get, you get some like pictures of a, uh, I don't know if that's the brewery or not on there. It might be. Could, no. Well, look at the, I don't know. Does that look like this picture? I know, what does that say? Go turn it, it's a Greyhound Inn. Yeah, I don't think this, that's the brewery, but it does look pretty cool. It's a UK type of a deal. So I would love to actually go there and drink like straight from their breweries over there because they've been around since. Oh, would be awesome. 1800s a lot of these places and they're still using the same recipes that they used back then. So like 150 years old. Well, and when I went to England, I wasn't old enough to drink. So going into pubs <laughs> wasn't very fun when all you can do is eat and not have a beer. Right. All right guys, the last one on the roster is the oatmeal Stout. Uh, this is the celebrated oatmeal stout. So Ben, you want to read this one while, I, while we go rinse our glasses? Just read the top right there to the camera. Can you read? No, he can't read. I can't read. I can't my glasses. You go rinse the glasses out. <laughs> ben can't read. I just need my glasses. <laughs> Okay, so I'll take over again. Um, an opaque, wonderfully silky, and smooth textured ale with a complex medium dry palate and bittersweet finish. Brewed with well water, the original well sunk in 1758 is still in use. Malted barley, roasted barley, oatmeal, yeast, and hops. Fermented in open topped stone Yorkshire squares. Celebrated oatmeal stout is a style benchmark revived by Samuel Smith's and the inspiration of hundreds of commercial oatmeal stouts. Um, all right, and let's see, this does not say um, what the alcohol content is on this, as far as I can see. Yeah, so this does not tell us um, what the alcohol level is, which is kind of weird. You would think they would have it on there, but 
whatever. But anyways, here it is, guys. The oatmeal freaking stout from Samuel Smith. It's so weird that the, uh, the, the one has the alcohol percentage. And in the same spot on the other two, there's absolutely nothing. Yeah. Uh, so, guys, this is a medium dry palette with a bittersweet finish. So, uh, yeah, this should be a fun one. There's Damn, that look at that bubbly. Look at that bubbles. It's like every single <laughs> bottle that we've gotten so far is just like. Well, they are warm, so they're not. I, I think they'll be a little different if they were cold. They might not bubble up as much. Dude, that is a thick looking oatmeal stout. Damn. Yeah, look at that. Look at that color. What is, is that darker than the, uh, the yeah, porter? What? Just hold it. Ooh. What are you smelling, Tim? Flavors. <laughs> I don't know. Like, <clears throat> all right, take a good sniff, boys. Very stouty. Mm -hmm. I'm not really picking up any oatmeal yet. I'm sure it's going to be in the flavor. It's probably like. But look, that is aftertaste. black. It's probably going to be an aftertaste. I know. You cannot see through that. That is. It has black. Very, very <laughs> like you look at okay, the bottom. Okay, a little it's bit. Tiny some, bit of yeah. red. But it is. It is just a dark stout. All right, guys, oatmeal stout. This is, is that what it's called? Just the oatmeal yeah, stout? Yeah, dark oatmeal stout. The celebrated, I'm sorry, the celebrated oatmeal stout from Samuel Smith and their three pack. Here we go, the final beer in the series. Cheers, boys. This is definitely a little more robust than the other two. Mm -hmm. Smooth, too. It is smooth, though. Still smooth like the others, but definitely robust. has a little more bite than the others do. The it, others were just like going to pound them about it. This one seems more of a sipping beer. Yeah. This is definitely, yeah. I would say this is a good sipper. Um, but yeah, all these are extremely yep, smooth. Like when you swallow it, you don't get that like. How strong do you feel it tastes? It's strong. It's super easy to drink. Um, but it's real bitter on the back of the tongue. Like you can get that bitterness in your mouth. But when you swallow it, like when you drink a lot of a porters and stuff, you kind of you get that in your throat. You can feel yeah. it with the alcohol, but no. this these are so smooth. But I agree with Tim. It's more of a sipping beer. Um, yeah, I, I I couldn't pound this all the way. All the yeah, way. it's really thick too. Like this is yeah. definitely it's the thickest of the three. I was about sure. to say it's probably the yeah. thickest beer out of the three of them, which I enjoy the thicker beers to be honest with you guys. Um, it's for me that's something I really like. I like the oh, thick. Shout out, Tim. I like the thick porters. <laughs> um, when they have a ton of flavor and they're smooth mm -hmm. thick. <laughs> okay. Since we tried all three, um, if, if I had to if I had to suggest, I I feel like the first one better. The first one is I think that was probably the first my one was my one. favorite. I think it, second this one maybe this is the third. This one's really more of a sipping beer. I think what it, about you? in order of like what I would drink, I think it's the order we tried them in. Yeah. 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 It'd go the uh, the porter, the ale, the nut ale, and then this one. Okay. What about you? Like, I would go. The first one was really good, mm -hmm. and then I'll go this one second, and then the nut ale last. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, this one is. I mean, this one and the first one are really the caddy porter. Like it's weird. This like one, they're pretty. They're tied for me because these they almost taste the same. But this the, does have the, a lot the more. The was so stronger, smooth. Stronger, yeah, stronger. Yeah, it was stronger. a lot smoother than this one. This like one's got. That, a, that's a bite. the difference. Like I, this like the porter. This is how I thought the porter was gonna be. Yeah, yeah. this is a porter. And then it was just so just drinkable, smooth. Whereas this one's like, all right, I'm gonna. I need to sip on this. Mm -hmm. You know, just to, to sip and beer. You know, like I said, because <laughs> yeah. it's got a good bite and all that yeah. flavor. You gotta kind of swish it around, figure out what you're tasting in there. It's got a lot of flavor with all the oatmeal, the malts, the barley. It's got all of it in this one. So it's got a ton of stuff going on. Mm -hmm. And that kind of gives it that bite. But it's delicious. Like, don't get us wrong. It's delicious. It's something you want to just sit back, watch a movie, and just kind of sip on it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. really smooth, easy to drink. Like, you drink this, you don't feel like, like when you swallow it, a lot of beer, you're like, ah! Mm -hmm. But this is just like, where'd it go? Yeah. 
And I'd say like if I were to rate the, I'm not going to rate beers, the beers individually, but I'll rate the box as a whole. That's a good way to go. I give it like an 885. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, eight. the fact that you got, mm. it came with a glass, so you glass, got a pint yeah. glass. Get a glass. Three, three, so three you don't have a glass. Of alcohol. You get some coasters, mm -hmm. you know, why yeah. not? They're just little cheap cardboard coasters. I say, I say 8.5. 8.5. Because the extra stuff they did, the, the yeah. cup, the coasters. And then you get three the beer. good beers. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I would drink those These again. These are good. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not something like, oh, that was all right. All right, whatever. I would drink them again. Yeah, I would definitely. Like, I need to make these in six packs and put them in stores because they're right. good. <laughs> like, I, I, I kind of want to check it out to see if they do. Right. But once again, it's the Samuel Smith series. Here's, uh, here's your the three beers that are coming in it. The Samuel That's Smith the box. series. You get this cool box with Comes it with too. this cool box with lots of information, a cool picture of an in pub from England. Like, look at the. Look at the history there. there tons of history. Like, oh, yeah. That's a, a picture. clock tower. When you drink this, you think you're sitting right there next to that building. And you're like, mm. you're like you're back in England or exactly. the UK, wherever it is. But damn, this is a great box. And hopefully, like I said, as far as I know, this is just came out for this for this winter season, right around Christmas time. I have never seen this box out before yeah. that. I, so, I mean, we found it at our local Sherm's, and we just happened to have, like, what do you want to call it? Like a beer island? It's like a, yeah, like a winter beer um, yeah, display that, going that on. Has, it has a whole bunch of different, yeah. like, once in a lifetime or once a year beer that yeah. comes out. And it's, it's literally just a giant island of every company's beer, seasonal beer, is on there. And saw this, figured had to try it, and definitely worth the twelve bucks that got spent on. Uh, I mean, you get twelve bucks for three pints and a pint glass and a glass. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's pretty. What was this cool. like, fourteen ninety nine or something? Twelve bucks. Twelve dollars. You get three. I don't know how many ounces that is, but it's five hundred and fifty milliliters. You get three bottles that big. A glass and say, two coasters for twelve say, bucks. You're lucky to get a good beer. One pint. Oh, that's true. Okay, you get a pint. So, oh, there he is. Two two point two point seven fluid ounces. One pint, which means if I poured this whole thing and this whole thing, it would be perfect. Right at the top. Mm -hmm. But with all that head, good luck. <laughs> oh, look at all that head that guy's getting right there. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see the head on that thing. Damn. But all right, yeah. This is definitely a great box. Like I said, they both were at 8.5. I'm going to go an 8.5 as well. Mm -hmm. Just because the beer is so the, the beer, smooth. The beer, the, the, the glass. You get the, the glass, coasters, coasters mm -hmm. a cool box with mm -hmm. it with a lot of good graphics all over it. Mm -hmm. um, the beer is just easy to drink, and it has so much flavor and so much history in those drinks. Yeah. It's delicious. So definitely go out there and try to find it and try it because it's probably going to go away and not come back till this time next year. Um so yeah guys thank you for watching so much and join us again for our next review hopefully something like this and uh happy holidays happy holidays no. merry christmas well, we know year. what the next review is we do we got four we got a four pack coming up four pack with another glass and they're definitely high-end beer so you're going to want to stick around subscribe hit the like button if you made it this far comment down below um hashtag I made it. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> if you made it this far in the video. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching, everybody. Thanks for all the new subscribers. And we'll see you again for another awesome beer review because you see it here first. And we're the best damn reviews. Bye. Bye. Peace.